Good morning, I hope you're doing well. Uh, we are looking at Philippians 2 verse uh, 29 today, which says, So receive him in the Lord with all joy and honour such men. So when he's saying receive him, receive him, he's talking about Epaphroditus. We can see that earlier in chapter 2. Uh, and we know that he's been with Paul uh, because he has been there helping Paul with the sake of the mission. Uh, and in chapter 4, if we're skipping ahead, if we're allowed to do that, um, it talks about um, Epaphroditus giving a gift from the church in Philippi to, um, uh, to Paul. Uh, but obviously it's come to this, this moment where Paul is going to send uh, Epaphroditus back. And why is that? Well, we've seen that he's ill. And uh, I don't know about you, but if, if you're ill, sometimes you want to be at home, right? You want to be with, uh, with the surroundings that you know, with the people that you know. Um, so we can only imagine that he wants to go home. Uh, and also the church in Philippi, they're anxious to see him, they're anxious to know how is he doing. They know they've been ill. He's been close to death. Uh, we, we want to see him. Um, so what does Paul do? He's, he's doing the, the, the pastoral thing. He's being a pastor and caring for people. And he's saying, well, send him home. It's time for him to go home. We're so used to Paul explaining complicated theology to us. We actually get to see him be a pastor. He's talking about Epaphroditus, talking about Timothy, he's talking about real people and real people's lives. So we come to this point where he's saying, look, as I'm sending him home, receive him in the Lord with all joy and honour such men. When he comes home, arms wide open, welcome him, encourage him. He's done an honourable thing. Yeah, working with Paul isn't easy. It's a risky business. Uh, wherever Paul went, no one particularly liked him. So, um, so being with Paul, he must have been a, a bold man. He must have done lots of hard work in that. So he's saying, look, he's deserving of honour. He's deserving of encouragement. So do that. So we see Paul encouraging people, but he's also encouraging other people to encourage people. Um, so what I want to say today is that who is it in your life? Who have you seen uh, who has been uh, working diligently? They might have been serving diligently uh, at church or it might be your small group leader. It might be someone who's been helping you through a, through a tough time. Um, who of it who you've seen that, like, you know what, I should go and encourage them. And, and just do that. Do that today. Text them, uh, give them a phone call, say well done for what you're doing. Uh, honourable work that you're doing. So that's the main takeaway for today. Let's take Paul's example and do that. Let's be an encouraging people, not just today, uh, but in the next few weeks as we're coming up to Christmas, as, as lives get, get busy around this season, uh, look out for those who, who actually they deserve an encouragement. Uh, they're deserving of honour. So let's do that today and in the coming weeks. Thank you so much for uh, joining me this morning and I'll speak to you soon.